Hi friends, welcome to First Edis YouTube channel. This is part 47 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are focusing on two JSON function in PySpark. Before watching this video, I would encourage you to watch my part 12th video and 15th video in PySpark playlist. There I have explained about what is map type and also I have explained about what is structure type in PySpark. Also, please watch before this part 47th video. There is part 45th video and part 46th video in which I have covered from JSON function. So, if you watch all these videos, you will get very easily what is 2JSON function actually. So, let's jump into presentation. So, 2JSON function will actually help you to convert any column which is map type column or structure type columns into json string okay so if you remember from json function what it will do it will do vice versa that means it will take the json string and it will convert that back into map type or structure type but here to json function will convert this map type or structure type as json types so it is like a reverse operation okay converting map types and structure types into json string format is called to json function actually so when I practically explain this, you will get more sense of it. So for that, I will be creating data frames, one data frame in which you have one column with map type and then I will apply this to JSON function and I will show you how it converts to JSON string. Similarly, I will create another data frame which contains a column with structure type and again I will apply to JSON function to convert that structure type into JSON string. So let me practically show you this. Let's go to my Databricks workspace and here let me try to create a new notebook. So let me name this notebook as 2JSON notebook. Okay. And then so Python is a default language and this is my cluster. So let me hit create button to create this notebook here. So notebook got created successful and here let's try to create one data frame. For the interest of the time, I have already copied some code here. So let me copy this code from here to here and let me paste it here. If you see here, uh, here I am importing some types like string type, structure type and structure field and also a 2JSON function here because I will be referring all these types and functions in my next steps. So don't worry about here. And if you see here, we have a data variable in which I have one tuple as a list. So in list, I have only one tuple. So let's say like this is name column and let's say this json or dictionary whatever you are seeing it is like a properties column the same thing i defined here as schema and then i am using spark dot create data frame function to create a data frame and finally i am showing the data frame and i am also printing the schema of the data frame so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and if you closely observe we will be having a properties column in the data frame with map type as column type so let's wait for command to run here and if you see we got name column and properties column and you can see here it is not printing fully that's because the truncate value by default is true. So if you want the data to be printed fully use truncate equals to false in the show function of the data frame. So let me hit shift enter to execute this cell. Now you can see data printed fully. So here this properties column data type is map. You can see the same thing here. So now, as I said, as per my presentation, the map type column can be converted into JSON string, right? So for that, I will be using this to JSON function. So that is the reason I have imported this to JSON function here. So how to convert that? Let me practically show you. So on top of this data frame, let's try to add another column called maybe prop string, something like that, okay? So to add any new column or to modify existing column, we have to use with column function. I have already covered that in my previous videos. So with column, the new column name. So prop string. So properties in string format. That's what I'm trying to say here. And then what this column going to hold that you have to define here. So this column is going to hold JSON string of this properties column. So I should use two JSON function here. So let me use to JSON function. So control space, space will give me intelligence and for the to JSON function, I can pass my column. So from this data frame, 
take properties column properties column and convert that back into json string so this entire code will create a new data frame so let me save that in data frame called df1 and then finally let's try to use this show function here to see the values in the data frame also and also on top of this data frame let's try to use print schema function as well so now let me hit shift enter to execute this command and if you closely observe the results what happened here this is the first result so here the properties column is map and we have only two columns and then we generated a new column called properties string and now if you see here the data came as json string the same thing you can make sense here by checking this data type of this prop string column so that means two json function helped me to take this map type column and convert that back into json string similarly as i said this two json function will help you to convert the structure types also into json so for that let's try to create one data frame with structure type so let me go back to my notepad for the interest of the time i have already copied this code so let me copy from this code from here to here and let me paste it here on my cell so let me use a new cell here and i paste it i am not going to explain this code exactly why because if you have seen my structure type pyspark video that is part 12th you will know it if not please watch it so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell here i am creating a data frame which is again the same thing name column and properties column name is mahir and then you can see here hair property and i property i use the structure type here so that is the reason if you see here properties column data type is structure here in which we have two sub columns or hierarchical columns hair which is string type i which is string type so hair is going to hold value black i is going to hold value brown so that means this column this properties column is basically a structure type column so now what i will be doing is i will be using a with column function the same thing which will give me a new column and let me say like a prop json string okay then i will be using a to json function here and to the to json function i will be passing this data frame dot properties column okay then that will convert this entire code will give you a new data frame so let me save that in data frame 1 and then finally data frame one dot show and here i can say like truncate equals to false because i want to print full data in data frame and then i am going to use this df1 dot print schema maybe let me execute this code so here we created a data frame which contains a structure type column as properties then we used to json to convert that structure type column into json string the same thing i can observe here we have only two columns here and properties column is a structure type here and then here i can see a new column called properties json string and i can observe the data here this is purely json string the same thing i can make sense by checking this print schema output as well so two json function will actually work in a reverse fashion of from json from json will take the json string convert that into map type and string type but two json will take map type or structure type and then convert them back into json string so i hope you got an idea thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i have add videos thank you so much